Hey, fellas and ladies. This is Charles Babb. Tony Luce, Network Optics. <laughs> Got another feature to show you guys for version 2.5. Um, yep, it's called yep. Storage Backup. Yep, yep. You know what Storage Backup is? Yeah, it's where you take your uh, video files and you back them up on a hard drive. And you can move them around a little bit for permanent storage, right? Yeah, basically, um, when you have a video management system, yep, uh, you, you record a lot of information to local devices. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you want to back that information up to a safe location, like a, a NAS device or a cloud storage location. Okay, okay. Or you want them off-site in case your building burns down or something. Okay. You know, you don't lose that footage. So storage backup is a, is a, is a feature that we've implemented that allows you to back up um, your archives either in real time or by schedule or on demand to any storage location. It could be a local drive that you're just not using, okay. that you're just using for backup. It could be a, a USB connected drive, for example. It could be a, a NAS location. Okay, okay. Right? Or it could be, like I said, a cloud location that you want to send information to. Right. Like if you're doing, um, you could do redundant recording, you can set up record to this NX1, but also record simultaneously to the centralized NAS device that okay. may be off-site, yeah. right? So I can move, I can record at two locations at one time. Mm -hmm. Big feature, right? A lot of people ask for it. Um, so what we're gonna show you guys is how to set it up. Um, just to give you guys an idea of my own personal setup here. Um, in my office here, uh, down below my desk, you can't really see it in the in the, in the fish eye, but I got a camera set up so you guys can see it. There's a Thicus uh, NAS device. There's yep. two NX ones and there's an NX two, and there's Boba Fett. And he's guarding them. The bounty hunter's guarding. Because he's a Maori and he's mean. Yeah, he's Maori and he's mean. Like the All Blacks. Oh right? lord. <laughs> New Zealand All Blacks, a rugby team. All right, so. This is my setup. I'm going to be backing up these devices to this na to this NAS device. Okay? okay. So to do that, you go to uh, the server that you want to back up. Go to server settings, right? Um, and you can see this NX1 already has a backup location set up. Yep. And that's the IP address of the Thekus NAS device and the folder that I'm going to be storing it into. So if you go to my Thekus device, um, let me find it. So you can see I got an NX1 dash underscore one, NX1 underscore two okay. uh, for those devices that will be stored in there. So for my NX1 one, I've already got it set up here. So yep. this one is backing up. Now what's it backing up? So right now it's backing up the corner office camera that's connected to that NX1, okay. right? And it's backing up all the streams. You can do high res streams, low res streams, or all streams. Now, these are global backup settings. What that means is that if backup has been set up in the system for these devices, you can only really choose um, high res or low res or both, both. right? Okay. And as you choose devices, those devices will remain selected, mm -hmm. right? So right now I've got one device set up. Um, I got it set up by schedule. And my schedule is every day at midnight backup until it's finished. Mm -hmm. I can say backup for just an hour, mm -hmm. backup as long as I want. I can even limit the bandwidth on the backup okay. just to make sure my network isn't flooded, mm -hmm. right? But that's how it's set up right now, right? Um, the other thing you can see is that backup's never been started on this device, so it hasn't been done yet. Hold on, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Can you go by by schedule, pull that back down again? So it says real time and on demand. Yeah, by schedule is according to a schedule like I just showed mm -hmm. you. Real time is I'll back up to that location at the same time I'm recording, recording. locally. Okay. And on demand is I push a button and it does a backup. Okay. Right? So that's what's set up right now. Now if I look at the NX1-2, let's apply those changes, um, you can see I've already got a backup location set there as well. Let's remove that and do that one again. So we press apply. So no backup has been set up for this now. NX2. Right? So first thing I need to do is add extor external storage location. Okay. Uh, it could be a local drive, it could be a NAS device. In this case it's a NAS device. So I add the NX, uh, the, sorry, I add, a, I add the Thekus uh, IP address and the path I'm going to be storing to. I can back up to a password protected storage okay. or I can back up to a public storage okay. up to you. So if you have a password protected storage, you got to put the login and the password here for cool. for our system to be able to back up to, lo to that location. So 192.2. or sorry, 192.168.2.242 is my path to the NAS device itself and then NX1 underscore 2 is my actual path. 
Okay. And my login is admin, admin, right? Press OK. Now you can see that device has been uh, added, so that, mm -hmm. that path has been found. And then I'm going to choose use as backup storage. When I do that, it creates backup storage location. You can see I got about two terabytes there to use as, as backup. backup. I can always switch it back to main storage if I want to use it for main storage. Now I've got that set up. I've already got one device selected, so I selected another device on this server that's going to be backing up. So now I have those two cameras that are being backed up. I can also back up newly added cameras. So if I add a new camera to the system that's underneath this server, it will automatically be backed up according mm -hmm. to the same settings as I have for the other cameras. Nice. Nice. All right, so press OK. I want to back up all streams. On this one, I want to back up on schedule. I want to set the schedule to be midnight until finish as well. Press OK. And then press apply. All right? So now my backup is set is set up. So it's gonna run an archive scan over there, see what, what's been backed up already. It's gonna start a backup at that point in time if if it if it needs to, according to schedule. All right? But that's basically how you set up backup storage. So now I've got two servers both recording that NAS device and they're both backing up the cameras that are connected oh, nice. to them. Nice. So that's backup storage. If you got any you guys got any questions, hit us up at support.networkoptics.com. Yeah. If you don't have any questions, then go back some stuff up. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.